Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. I'm Big B. Today we're going to be running the brand new, newly released Recoil 218 inch. A little size comparison to its bigger brother. All right. Uh, this is a pretty awesome little hull. It's small and it's super freaking stable and fast <laughs> to boot. So uh, I only have one set of packs, but we're actually going to be running five different, try to run five different props, one pack. Um, we got two of the same pro boat props. One's detongued, one is not. 32-16. This will just kind of give you an idea of a prop to get for the boat when you receive yours. If you want to upgrade. It's fast with the stock prop, but you guys know we all want to upgrade props. Got an ABC 3014, smaller than the stock prop. An Oxdean 3014, also smaller. Uh, and a 3514 larger this is a four millimeter board prop i'll have to shim it up so um let's just do a control stock prop let's go big b we're gonna clear ourselves let's go stock prop just gonna do maybe you know one straight try to save the battery get seven minutes of run time but trying different size batteries uh, I mean, props, it'll kind of drain a battery. All right, so that's stock. I would say that's at least 35 mile an hour, 30, 35, if I had to guess. Okay, got a nice ratitude with that prop. Okay, uh, this is a 31.5. 31.5, if I had to guess, a 1.4 pitch. It may be 1.6. All right, it's got some tongue on this prop, okay? So it's kind of a, a X-Series low lift prop. So let's go ahead and throw this uh, detongued medium lift 3216 on Pro Boat, okay? I highly recommend you guys turning your boat off when you do a prop ch change. Uh, if you're not gonna turn it off, be super careful, make sure your remote's out of the reach of anybody and use a towel to protect your fingers or even a glove that's a good idea a prop glove <laughs> all right so we that's the stock prop I, I wish i had a gps um i went to go plug this one in because it's uh the battery died it no longer works so i gotta get a gps for you guys hopefully this fits it does okay 32 16 cut down tongue medium lift that's this is the boat I cut this prop down for, okay? <clears throat> it actually seems fast with that prop. Kind of wanting to chime walk a little bit because it's a six pitch and the diameter is larger than stock, but it's actually pretty fast. Yeah, it kind of gets the boat up out of the water, but not too much, okay? So that's pretty good. That's actually pretty nice. Um, I would say, if I had to guess, maybe a mile an hour or two quicker than the stock prop, if I had to guess. <laughs> that stock prop's gonna be hard to beat, man. That thing gets in on this little boat. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go with the X-Series, the, the, the stock Pro Boat prop. Um, that prop there, is off of the old Miss Geico 24. I happen to have two of them and I, I modified one. Um, you can find this prop still here and there. You know, it's, it's, you could find it. But uh, if you want, if this prop runs good, all you really have to do is look for a CNC 3216 or 32 uh, high pitch, 32 high pitch or 3216. Um, if you want to kind of emulate the performance from this propeller, I kind of have high hopes for this prop. Okay, so that's the that's the difference in the tongue. Medium, low lift. All right, I love I love doing prop changes on a new boat. You know, it's fun. It's really fun trying to find a, a good balance and speed and temp and all that stuff. It's actually really fun. Uh, right now I'm just testing. So, um, like I said, I hadn't checked temp, so I can't, I'm not gonna be able, whoa, that's a lot, whoa. 
I'm not going to be able to give you a, a final answer today on, on a good prop for this boat. Just going to have to throw a few props on here. That prop there is too big. It wants to, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's all right. If you get on it too hard, it wants to um, teeter and do that. <laughs> and that's a point one. Well, it's a three millimeter flex cable. It's a heavy duty flex cable, you know. And it just jumps out the hole with that prop. And it, it's pretty fast. Oh, not quite as controllable as the previous two props. So we're going to bring it back in, trying to do it all one better. Uh, yeah, it's a point three millimeter cable, heavy duty cable. And the way they have that cable designed with that coupler, or the, yeah, the coupler that they have, um, if that coupler comes loose, your, your cable's not going to come out. This is I haven't taken all this apart yet. But uh, you're going to have to pull the strut in order to grease this boat, okay? Um, but I like the way they have it set up so you don't lose your cable because those grub screws, they'll, they'll back off uh, I've, if you don't use enough Loctite. I've had it happen before. Um, but we're actually, the next video with this boat, we're actually going to do some, some maintenance. Uh, Greasing the cable, waterproofing the receiver, uh, and just a few things to kind of consider when you're when you're running your boat. Okay, um, so let's throw the ABC 3014. Now this one ought to make it scream. It's been a good prop so far, but it's elusive, very hard to get your hands on. The next best thing is this 3014 Oxstein prop. Um, that one's a common prop; you can get it. And uh, I think both of them are going to be good. Uh, on the previous boats I've run those props on, I've had similar performance characteristics. Mm. 3014 ABC, three blade. Oh. Oh, it took a second too for it to catch. It was cavitating, huh? Interesting. Not faster, and it cavitates. So let's do that again. Uh, just a takeoff, okay, from a dead stop, cavitating, cavitating, and then she finally catches water, okay? So this prop's too small. So that may be telling me there that a 30 millimeter prop might not be good for this. It likes, it likes bigger prop. So this is a four millimeter bore prop that I put an a KNS brass tube, or you can buy uh, an adapter to shim it up from eighth to four millimeter. I uh, don't think this one's going to do well on the boat, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, the, the worst thing in the world is buying a prop, and it does what this ABC prop did: cavitates, you know, or it just doesn't work well with the boat. Um, <clears throat> that's why I do these prop tests to help you guys decide on a prop you know so again a 3014 this one has more blade area i think or no oh wow that one took right off okay that abc prop took a second it don't really look like it's faster than stock but i'll let you guys be the judge of that looks like it's about the same speed as stock maybe a little faster maybe maybe we'll, we'll have to get a gnss to put in here that's actually a pretty good prop i don't even want to stop running the boat <laughs> holy cow all right let's do a standstill launch okay so the stock prop had a little more pep at low speed takeoff and those that 3216 also had more pep this guy right here these two would be actually a good contenders on this boat. They're a little big, but it's a 3 16 bore, so that's not gonna work. The TFL 3519 
this one right here is a 3319. We might just try it. I cut this down to 33 millimeters, so this might be a good problem there. Oh, we'll see. So uh, let's see what this one does real quick. Biggest diameter, 3514. Yeah, it looks good on the boat. It matches everything. Big prop, so we have to check temps, you know, when we run, we run a whole pack through it. Oh, not that great. Not that great. I don't know. I don't know. It's handling. It's handling good. It's really hard to tell without a GPS in it. I apologize, you guys. I kind of likes it, don't I? Definitely has the best takeoff out of all five of them. <laughs> all right all right so while i what well, i'm gonna throw in an extra prop because i'm now now i'm really curious about that tfl i, I know you guys can't get this prop because i've modified it but it really screamed on a couple of my other smaller boats um you can get the 3519 but you'd have to actually cut the di diameter down and um I, i've had a few a few viewers say, B, I don't know why you show us these props on these boats that you modify because there's no way we could get it, that particular prop. But um, those of you who know how to prop balance a prop might be something to think about. Ooh, we barely have enough threads on that stub shaft. Good and tight, good and tight. Big prop. So I'm actually gonna turn. Okay, so it should be good. All right, 30, 3319, 3319. Let's see how it does. Okay, okay, okay. It's taking that big prop. Yeah, I consider this a big prop. The hub's big on it. The blades are, the pitch is aggressive. Diameter's fairly big, but that motor is taking it, man. Wow. And it it's, might be the fastest at takeoff too. Let's see. Let's see here. It gets up and goes. I like this little boat, man. I was so tickled when I ran it yesterday for the first time. This is only my second time running this thing. <laughs> you know? That's awesome, man. All right, all right. So let's check the temp with that big prop. Get off of there, jeez. Oh, my hatch wasn't locked down all the way. A little bit of water. I uh, didn't have my hatch all the way clipped down. And the end of my antenna has come off that may be having water come in. 70 degrees, 65, but our water temperature is cool right now. And my battery was pushed forward. Wow, that actually would make a huge difference. What a fun little freaking boat, man. What a fun little boat. I actually had a good time with you guys today testing out these props. I think these two actually did the best more so i like that one it did have a couple little china walk episodes but um that one did pretty good um this one actually did pretty good that cut down 19 pitch that one seems slow okay this one <laughs> uh i was hoping since i seen it cavitate and i was hoping it would have a good top end but it didn't this one actually performed better than that one so we'll we'll uh we'll test some more props on this thing that's that's the fun part about rc boats i freaking love 
testing props, messing around, cutting new props. Uh, and I actually love this little strut. Check this little bad boy out. I like that little strut, man. So streamlined looking. And uh, check out the way they did the turn fin and the, and the trim tab there. The gap, you know, trying to fit everything on the transom of the boat. It looks real clean. It's nice work really nice workmanship on this boat um everything held together two runs in and it's in its same clad you know i really like this little boat it's so cool and um the overall length is 18 inches from the rudder to the tip 18 inches um i don't know the exact hull size and I just noticed this, check out the back of the boat, it has some cant forward on it. It's not like straight up and down, it's got some like uh, forward cant. That's that's actually pretty cool, so the water breaks off the, off the, uh, the back. It just breaks off clean. That might be why she's so darn fast. And the, the, the little teeny tiny chines right here, they're sharp. And they got the perfect angle, it looks like. He stops them right in here. And uh, she's a fast little boat, man. So controllable. I re really, really recommend this boat. Uh, we'll, we'll find some more props to, to mess around with it. I basically tested all my eighth props, except for my real little ones. <laughs> I might have some at the house on some of my boats. Um, I I'll look around. And uh, yeah, check the description. I have link for the boat. And uh, if, you, if you guys buy the boat through the channel, it does kind of help my channel out just a little bit. So um, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.